A rodeo is coming to Paxton, a town that's home to less than 1,000 people and doesn't actually have an arena. So we will, re we will resurrect our, our arena for the Cancer Free Rodeo. Four years ago, a rodeo was held in this very location to benefit the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. But this year, Caleb Davidson will be bringing the event back to Paxton for Cancer Freeze. It'll take us all day today and all day tomorrow to have just the panels up and just the lights up. The physical work takes a couple of weeks, but preparation for the rodeo takes months. But the community is up to the task, already bringing in volunteers and donations. When they saw us coming, they, what can we do to help? What can we do to help? Chelco jumped in, brought us power poles. The county brought us a load of dirt. The city of Paxton has been tremendous. This is their land that they've loaned us for this. Walton County Sheriff's Office has even allowed the inmate workforce to get involved, building the arena from scratch, from the ground up. Events like this one have helped Davidson and the Cancer Freeze Foundation help as many as nine cancer patients in one year, actual people affected by cancer in the community. But throughout the year, we have different events, such as a golf tournament, such as a beauty pageant, such as this rodeo, a softball tournament. That's money goes to different people that nobody knows about. That's the stuff that we can do that we enjoy the most. But we get really close to our recipients. Recipients like Stacy Ledden, who several years ago was diagnosed with breast cancer. Caleb and Jennifer met with me and made me, made me feel good, took care of me. Ledden is one of many cancer survivors on the receiving end of Cancer Freeze's charity. When faced with the disease, she says Caleb and his wife were her saving grace. The whole Cancer Freeze experience was the most humbling experience. I've ever had and I dare to say I ever will have. Our recipients tell us things that nobody else knows. We cry with them, we pray with them, we understand what they're going through. We choose to help try to carry their burden. Now Ledden watches events like the rodeo go towards helping recipients just like her. People caring about you enough to volunteer and help and work and donate money to make sure that I had the time to take off to go to MD Anderson. You know, it's, it's amazing how, how good people are when they are given the, the chance to do something for somebody else, they do. All right. A chance that was bestowed on the citizens of Paxton, Walton County, and even surrounding counties who have more than delivered for this year's cancer rodeo. Davidson is still looking for sponsors and volunteers for an event that goes far beyond financial support but spiritual support as well. I know how hard it is on families, and I want people to feel like they can call on us for whatever reason. 